Shalom, shalom, shalom. Grace and peace, family. Um, I'm just jumping on in this particular video, in this particular uh, message. Uh, I just want to encourage you to, uh, how you doing? How we should have a better understanding of the word, you know? Um, in this particular video, in this particular message, I just want to, you know, elaborate on on the importance of you understanding the word. I'm not saying that you don't understand the word, but we can always use clarity and, and, and more understanding of the word when it comes down to the word. Even the Messiah himself had to come back and open their minds to understand the scriptures, you know. But I just want to speak about the importance of us as in whole of knowing and understanding that you cannot have a relationship with the Father without obeying his word. You can't. You cannot have a relationship with the Father if you're not willing to obey the word, his word. That's why the word said that uh, he that said that I know him and does not guard my word, does not keep my commandments, is a liar. And the truth is not in you. You can't say you have a relationship with the Father, but yet you're going against his word, willfully too. You cannot admit, truly admit, that you know the Father, but yet you are, you are a, a, a feminine. You know, you love to lay down with the same sex. You're in homosexual. And you know this is wrong. But you proclaim that you have a relationship with the Father. You proclaim that he's your personal Lord and Savior. You proclaim that uh, you're one with the Father, but yet you willfully sin. You game bang. You, you, you like to get rich or die trying. That's your motto. You are feminine. You are homosexual. You, know? uh, uh, you are a bona fide liar. You are, you are cr a smooth criminal. <laughs> you are a thief. But yet, you want to say amen and hallelujah. You want to uh, still attend the church. Not saying that there is anything wrong with you going to church. But if you're not willing to change, if you're not willing to overcome the desire of your flesh, it's not profit you nothing. We have to be willing to repent and receive the power that comes from the Holy Spirit. Me, you, us, we, all of us, all of mankind. If you want to be saved, if you want to be delivered. And you can only have a relationship with the Father by obeying his word. And that's why the Messiah said, I'm the way, I'm the truth, and I'm the life. And no man, no one can come on to the Father except by through me. I'm the word. And you cannot have a relationship with the Father if you're not willing to obey the word. We're going to read about it. Um, I want to read the book of John. Chapter 14, verses 1 through 6. The book of John, chapter 14, verses 1 through 6. And I just want to speak about this uh, real briefly. It's just going to be a brief message. And, uh, and I pray that not only it, it, it encourage you, it edify you, but that you will have a heart to repent if you're still caught up in darkness. We have to repent today because tomorrow... It's not promise. The book of John, chapter 14, verses 1 through 6. The book of John, chapter 14, verses 1 through 6. And it reads, this is the Messiah talking, right? He says this. He said, uh, let not your heart be troubled. Believe it in Elohim. Believe it in Yah, right? Believe also in me. For my father's houses are many stand places. And if not, I would have told you. For I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I shall come again and receive you to myself. That where I am, you might be too. Myself, that where I am, you might be too. Okay, and where I go, you know, and the way, you know. Thomas said unto him, Master, we do not know where you're going, or how 
or and how are we able to know the way right Yahushua said unto him I am the way the truth and the light and no one can come to the father except through me hallelujah see we have to understand who Yahushua is he's the word remember in the beginning was the word the word was with Yah, the word was Yah, and it was the word that became Hi, flesh. It's me. How you doing? I just gone to, gone to the McDonald's and gone to the so much fun. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. And he said, bye, McDonald's. He's going to say it. Okay. Hi. Hey, there. how you doing? How y'all doing? Hi. How y'all doing? Bye. Okay, bye. See you later. But we have to understand later. who Yahusha is. Ada, how you doing? <laughs> but 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 Yahusha is the word. He's the word. Yahusha said, I am the way, I'm truth, and I'm life. And no man can come on to the Father self by through me. No man, no one. But but if you don't understand who Yahusha is, if you don't understand who he was, who he is, you won't understand what he just said. He's the word. He's the way. He's life. He's truth. And he said, no man can come unto the Father's self by through me. No man. I'm the word. How can you have relation with the Father if you're not willing to obey the word? How? You have to go through the word in order to have relation with the Father. You have to. The Father's love, therefore you have to walk in love. The Father is kind, therefore you have to show kindness. The Father is meek, therefore you have to be meek. The Father is long-suffering, therefore you have to show patience. No man can come on to the Father except by through me. Yahushua is the Word. He's the manifestation of the Word. He was the manifestation of salvation. He was the manifestation of the visible glory of the Most High. And you can only go through the word to get to the Father, to get to the, to the Master. You can't proclaim that you are the Father, but yet you transgress His word every second, every minute, every hour. You don't know the Father. Because if you did, you would understand that you can't be a homosexual. Not if you want to walk with the Father, you can't be a liar. Not if you want to walk with the Father, you can't be effeminate. Not if you want to walk with the Father. Dread, dread. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. If you want to walk with the Father, you have to be willing to love your neighbor as you love yourself. You have to be willing to love the Father with all of your heart, mind, soul, and strength and understand that He's one. You have to be willing to be perfect. You have to allow Him to lead and guide you into all truth. For the fear of the Father at the beginning of all knowledge, you got to be able to, to, to fear Him. How else will you be able to reverence Him if you don't fear Him? I know I can live a... a, a a lifestyle of thievery because first and foremost I fear him and I repented and I received the power that come from the Holy Spirit I can't render evil for evil I can't do eye for eye two for two I can't live a homosexual lifestyle I can't get caught up in in, in, in effeminate being an effeminate no because Yahoo should the way he the truth and he the life and no man, no one can come on to the Father except by through him and he's the word. He's the manifestation of the word. In the beginning was the word. The word was with Yah, the word was Yah, and the word became flesh. The word. Yahusha. And if you want to have a relationship with the Father, you have to go through the word. You have to love. You have to be kind. You have to walk in forgiveness. You have to give. 
You have to share. You have to care. You have to be willing to pray for others. Pray for your enemies. You can't render evil for evil. You can't lie. You can't steal. You can't covet. You can't slander. You can't have grudges upon your heart. You can't live in uncleanness. Because Yahushua says so. And he's the manifestation of the word. The book of John, chapter 14, verses 1 through 6. The book of John, chapter 14, verses 1 through 6. Um, if you're listening to this, please subscribe to it. And also uh, share it on your, on, your, on your page as well, on your YouTube account, your YouTube channel. You know, I'm just teaching the fundamental of the gospel. You know, I'm not trying to get too deep with it. Just basic, fundamental. And those who have an ear to hear, they will hear. I'm not trying to get caught up in who Esau is, whether the earth is flat or round. Just the fundamental of the gospel. So that you're able to repent. And so that you're able to have a relationship with the Father. Where he's able to lead and guide you to all truth. We need to grow in the Messiah. We need to grow in Christ. The book of John chapter 14 verses 1 through 6. And it read. It said let not your heart be troubled. Believeth in Yah. Believeth also in me. For in my father's houses are many stand places, and if not, I will have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I shall come again and receive you to myself. That where I am, you might be too. And where I go, you know. And the place, you know. Thomas said unto him, Master, we do not know where you're going or how, and how are we able to know the way? Yahushua said unto him, I am the way and the truth and the light. And no one can come unto the Father except through me. Hallelujah. See, we have to understand Yahushua is the mediator and he's the mediator of the new covenant. He's the mediator. He's the word. He's the way. He's the truth. And he's life. And you can't come on to the Father self by through the word. You have to go through the word. You can't have a form of reverence while denying the power thereof and think you're going to be saved. You can't have a zeal when it's not according to knowledge and think you're going to be delivered. You can't honor him with your mouth and confess him with your lips when you know your heart and your lifestyle is far from him. You don't have a relationship with the Father if you're not willing to obey the Word. The Father is the Word. He is what He say. The Father is love. And if you want to walk with the Father, you have to walk in love. The Father is gentle. And if you want to walk with the Father, you have to walk in gentleness. The Father is kind. And if you want to walk with the Father, you have to walk in kindness. The Father is long-suffering. He's patient. And if you want to walk with the Father, you too have to be patient. The Word is able to save your life. If you're able to receive it in the spirit of meekness and humbleness, it is able to save your life. It is able to transform you. It is able to renew your mind, but you have to be willing to repent and receive the Word. The Word will cleanse you from all unrighteousness. This blood. You can't have a relationship with the Father if you're not going to... Uh, if you're not going through the word, you can't. You got to go through the word. You got to you got to you got to obey the word. You have to obey the word. You have to submit and bow down to the word. The word will will, will protect you. The word will deliver you. The word will, will 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 redeem you. Are you willing to obey the word? Are you willing to repent and become a new creation, a new creature in him? Are you willing to love your neighbor as you love yourself? Are you willing to love the Most High with all of your heart, with all of your mind, with all of your soul, with all of your strength? Y'all, said, no man can come on to the Father's self by through me. No one. You can't get to the Father if, you, if you're not willing to obey the word. You can't. I can't. We can't. You're a liar. And you don't have a relationship with the Father if you're still caught up in lying. In, in lying. You a killer. 
You have murder on your heart. You hateful. You have unforgiveness on your heart. And you cannot come unto the Father. A self by through the word. And the word will convict you. Because the words that you should not murder. But love. You should not hate. But forgive. Y'all who should say I am the way. Toma I'm the way. What you mean show you the way. He said I'm the way. I'm true. I'm life. I can give you life. I told Lazarus to get up. They said he was in the grave. He was in the, 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 the tomb for three days. He said, I'm the resurrection. He know how to wait later. I'm the resurrection. Lazarus, get up. I'm life. I can give you life. Just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so the son of Adam had to be lifted up so that everyone who believeth in him will obtain eternal life. I'm life. No man can come on to the Father himself by through me. And I'm the word. I'm the living Torah. I'm the Ark of the Covenant. I'm the word. I'm life. I am the manifestation of life and I'm standing before you. But you refuse to come on to me. You just want to have a zeal where it's not according to knowledge and that's not good enough. Repent and believe in the gospel and allow the word to save your life. Allow the word to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. And I will receive you and I will give you the power to deny yourself. The book of John, chapter 14, verses 1 through 6. I'm going to wrap up the message. And I pray that you receive some sort of edification, some sort of understanding from the word. I pray, I pray, I pray. Yahoo shared the word, family. And you cannot have a relationship with the Father if you're not willing to obey the word. Point blank, period. You know, you can't be a homosexual and not willing to change. At least, you know, we have some people are, are, who are struggling dealing with that spirit. And they're trying to overcome. That is acceptable. But we have some brothers and some sisters who just caught up in lesbian, caught up in homosexuality. They're not willing to change, but yet they will try to pray for you. They want prayers, right? They want to pray over their food. You know, they want to amen and hallelujah. But yet they don't want to get out of the bed with the same sex. They don't want to overcome. They don't want to crucify the, the members of their flesh. Yahoo said, I am the way. I'm truth and I'm life and no man can come on to the Father except by through me. No man can have a relationship with the Father if they're not willing to obey the word. And I am the word. I'm the word. I'm standing before you. I'm going to show you that it's possible. I'm going to show you how to love because I'm going to be that example of, of walking in charity, of, of, of walking in love. I'm going to show you that it's possible. I'm going to show you how to be kind, not to render evil for evil because they will kill me. They will spear me on, uh, in the side. They will, they will nail my hands and my feet. <laughs> behold, behold, thy nail and, and thy hand, thy feet. Behold. But what, what I tell them is, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Yeah, I'm going to show you that it is possible. And, and, and faith can heal you. And I'm going to rise up. Just as Jonah was in the belly of the beast for three days and three nights, which was the foreshadow of me being in the heart of the earth for three days and three nights. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to condemn sin in the flesh. So that the righteousness of the law will be fulfilling those who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit. Period. The book of John chapter 14 verse 1 through 6. It said, let not your heart be troubled. Believeth in Elohim. Believeth in Yah, right? Believeth also in me. In my father's houses are many stand places. And if not, I will have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I shall come again and receive you to myself. That where I am, you might be too. And where I go, you know. And the way, you know. Thomas said unto him, Master, we do not know the way. 
We do not know where you're going. And how are we able to know the way? Yahusha said unto him, I am the way and truth and life. And no one can come to the Father except through me. Period. End of discussion. If you want life, you have to be willing to, to obey the word. You have to go through the word. The word will cleanse you. The word will get you right. Because the word huh, will show you that, 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 that they're none good. No, not one. That you're a sinner. That you are the walking contrary to my will. The word. And if you're willing to repent and receive the word. Hide the word in your heart. So that you might not sin against them. The word will put you on that straight and narrow path. But you have to be willing to receive the word with open arms. Or else you cannot have a relation with the Father except by through the word. We have too many people have a zeal when it's not according to knowledge. Too many brothers, too many sisters are dying and perishing from the lack of knowledge. Too many people are saying amen and hallelujah while, while, while indulging in sin. Too many people are are honoring him with their mouth and confessing to him with their lips when their heart, their lifestyle is far from them. You want somebody to pray for you while you dancing on the strip pole. No man can come unto the Father except by through me. And Yahushua said, I am the word. I'm the way. I'm the truth. The word of truth, right? The, the law is an everlasting, everlasting law and, and, and that word is true, that law is true, right? Well, Yahushua is the manifestation of the law, the manifestation of the word. And you can't come on to the Father except by through him because he's the word. He's the way and he's true and he loves you and he wants you to repent and he wants you to receive the power that comes from the Holy Spirit. He wants you to deny yourself. He wants to give you his spirit. He wants to redeem you. He want to deliver you from you because he came to set the captive free. And he said, you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. And his word is true. His love is true. His promise is true. His new covenant is true. Life in him is true. And he wants you to receive that so that he can give you the power through his spirit to deny yourself. To begin to crucify and kill the members of your flesh because your flesh is no good. And our flesh dwelleth no good thing. This is what Brother Paul said. And Yahushua said, if you wish to be my disciple, you have to first deny yourself. You have to repent and go through the mind renewal process. Not conforming to this world, but being transformed by the renewing of your mind. No man. Not you. Not me. No man can come on to the Father self by through the word. And obedience to the word through faith. Is how you can become one with the Father through the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Y'all be Baruch. Baraka Shalom.